Arceus V-Star is one of my favorite Pokemon cards in the format, but I always want to find out new ways to make it really good, either pairing it with different types of attackers that hit for weaknesses, different EXs, different V Pokemon, stuff like that. But I think I found the perfect new partner for Arceus within this format that, well, it isn't exactly a two-prizer, and this card might actually break Arceus because it really allows it to do some pretty wild things against some of your toughest matchups. So welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon Tissue Live Shroud of Fable deck video. And once again, we're going to be looking at Arceus with Dusknoir. It's literally just an Arceus V-Star deck being the main attacker. But of course, like I said, Dusknoir really does break Arceus. The ability to use Curse Blast is obviously really underrated with Arceus, mainly because Arceus V-Star has always been a pretty like linear card, right? Does 200 damage. Now we've had ways to manipulate the damage with stuff like Choice Belt or maximum belt but now in a format where like pokemon like raging bolt are existing or even just big pokemon like charizard are existing charizard is really tanky raging bolt is really tanky Arceus just can't quite get the job done against them but this is where having the dust Nor line really comes in handy of course you knock yourself out you can put 13 damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon you can use dust Nor, literally Put 13 damage on a Charizard and then hit it for 200 damage with Trini Nova on Arceus and you can knock that out in one hit. There's also a lot of things you can do with Dustnor in general. Really good into like Roaring Moon where they can't really use Frenzy Gouging against you that much because if they Frenzy Gouge, you can KO them with either Dusknoir or Dust. Lops. It just fixes math. You can use Dustnor in other situations to knock out Drongens. You can take multiple knockouts with Dustnor sometimes in a single turn, which is really cool. There's a lot of things you can do with Dustnor. And the nice thing about arc dust nor two is starbirth of course starbirth is one of the strongest v star powers ever just get any two cards out of your deck you can use starbirth to easily find yourself rare candy dust nor if you can somehow hold on to starbirth until like the end of the game too it makes it really hard to lose a match and of course with the addition of cards like pheasantipity and even Squawk to a degree, you have a bit of a draw engine in the deck to help set you up. And of course, the Blood Moon or Saluna being a very, very good card with Dust Nor. So we have to be playing a Blood Moon, of course, in the deck. I also debated playing Radiant Charizard over Blood Moon because Radzard um, is a one prizer, which, you know, might be good in this deck too, as a, you know, as a one prizer, right? It also does work with Dust Nor. You just basically, instead of playing Psychic Energy, you would then play Fire Energy. So you could maybe play Radzard over Blood Moon if you want. I like Blood Moon a little bit more because it's beefier, but I definitely can see Radzard being decent in this deck too if you can maybe play that. They're basically the same thing, except Radzard does more damage. Um, where Blood Moon, you can kind of use it a bit more easily, and it has more health. I've decided to put Radiant Gardevoir as my Radiant in the deck, though, mainly just because if you're playing against Lugia or Reggie Drago, they can't use Giratina or Tempest Dive to kill our Arc Vs and V-Stars. So the Gardevoir is really nice against Drago and stuff, which is why I'm playing it as my other Radiant Pokemon of choice. But before you get the video, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCT. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TCT I pack out, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern is still code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set, like the main set, Shrouded Fable, or of course, when Stellar Crown does come out next week. Yeah, you can get your Stellar Crown codes over at Card Cavern. If you do get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. Shout out Card Cavern, check them out. Use call the F link down below. Also, check out my second channel down below if you want to get some extra content from me. And make sure to go check out the Shuffle Squad down below, the team I am sponsored by. Um, they also got content over there, too. And time to time, I appear on their channel. So, yeah, here's the list I'm playing in today's video. I have seen a multiple different builds of Arc Dustnor online already. One build that was popular originally was, like, a very turbo-heavy build with, like, Pokestops and stuff. I decided not to play Pokestop. Um, I didn't really like it that much. I mean, Pokestop's cool, and honestly, maybe it is the best way to play it. I didn't really like Pokestop, though, to be honest with you. I wasn't digging it. It's not a bad idea to play it, but I've opted for Jamming Tower instead. My other logic is a lot of decks are playing Pokestop anyways, so, like, sometimes you just get a free Pokestop. And I just was like, I want to play a Stadium at the very least. So let's put a Jamming Tower in the deck because we don't play any tools. Not really sure it's needed. I mean, maybe you just play Pokestop. Um, I am playing Prime Catcher for the A spec alongside Counter Catcher and two boss. Just Gust is the name of the game of this deck. And being able to Starbirth for Prime Catcher is really good because usually you'd go like Starbirth for Max Belt to knock out those EXs. But now that we have Duskull and Dusclops and Dusnor, we can use Prime Catcher instead of Max Belt. And that's why I'm playing that in the deck. Um, really not a whole lot to talk about. One of the big issues this deck will probably face is it is an Arc deck at the end of the day, though this format is not bad for this deck in general with math fixing and using like traps against frenzy gouging the issue is at the end of the day you want to go first with rcs which means you run the risk of going first against like raging bolt or maridon or moon and you risk your arc getting ko'd i mean that's kind of the reality with arc there's really no way to build arc where you can't go first you have to go first with rcs so keep in mind you are playing arc tech at the end of the day you're gonna run into the issues where like you're going first and your opponent's like 
boom, I get turn one knockout. So you have to be very mindful. I am playing four Duskull, though. Just four Pokemon that start with. Duskull is a good starter. You can technically use it as a pivot if you are to use um, Dustin or Dusclops to move it, basically, knock themselves out. Or you can also just have it in the active at the start of the match against a two-prizer base deck so that you don't have a two-prizer in the active, right? So playing against Moon, so you start Duskull, and you bench arc, dust call in the active, you're forcing them to gust your Arceus turn one in order to stop you. So that's why we're playing four dust call. A bit of a thinner line, like a four one two line. We have two night stretcher. I mean, really, we're only doing like one or two dust snores a game, anyways. Sometimes only just one dust snore is all you really need. But sometimes that early tempo you get with dust snore and training nova is enough to keep you in a really good spot. And like I said, being able to star birth for candy dust snore really easily makes this deck really, really strong. And it's one of the best parts about it is Arceus to star birth, V star power, getting you the rare candy dust snore super duper easily. And there are some pretty crazy plays you make of this deck. The only other thing maybe to look at is like instead of Blood Moon, play Radiant Charizard. I debated that just take out the psychic energy add a couple fires to the deck i like blood moon because it's beefy also it can attack for zero energy radzard always needs a fire but i can see radzard being good in here too but let's go show off the deck in action see what arc dust is all about and why dust really does break uh, arceus we have turbo moon and of course we're going first so oh my god well anyways uh bench arceus attach pass and pray losing the dust call is not great i'll bench fez just in case and just pass I mean, we need Arceus to not get KO'd here. If they KO Arc, I mean, it's not looking too good. So if Arceus can survive the turn, that's the plan. They just need to not get the turn one knockout. And they unfortunately already got Double Moon and a Squawk in their opening hand, which is pretty disgusting. But if our Arc doesn't die here, we should be okay. That is the end goal. So can our Arceus not get KO'd? Let's see. It's not looking good. They just have looking like a pretty good hand, which is not good. Unfortunately, I don't have the Dusk Nor, so... Oh, they got catcher crap. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have the 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 only other dust calls. So, like this thing's gonna die, and then I can't dust snore next turn, which is not good. That's part of my uh, win con is to dust snore them. This is pretty bad. Do they have Sada in hand? Here comes catcher. Will it flip heads? It does flip heads. So now we need to hope that our arc does not get KO'd by turn one calamity storm. Please don't do it. They do need to. They had that in their hand. Their hand was that good. <sighs> They still need to move the moon, though. They did lose Petch. There's a chance. They still need Dark Patch attached. They have Squawk and Seize, which is not good, though. We can hold on for one turn. We honestly are big chillin'. Literally, we just need to not lose our Arceus turn one. That's it. Okay, they don't have Petch. Okay, I actually don't think they can knock me out then. They're bench locked, so there's no Petch run. Okay. They have the Nuts, but the Nuts is not enough, so we might be okay. Because they don't have a way to move moon currently. I think. Unless they're playing Switch card, which... Or they could Prime Catcher Fez, I guess, still, technically. We'll see. If they have done, they've done all this, but haven't even done their Squawk ability, which is just absolutely disgusting. Well, they did have Prime Catcher. But they didn't play it, though. Okay, hold up. Unless they're actually playing the Switch card, I think we're actually safe for a turn. They have the Prime Catcher, but they are not using it. They could have killed Fez. They could have taken the first two prizes. Okay, hold up. Do they have Switch? They don't. Okay, nice. Let's go. Let's see what our top deck is. Nice. Let's go. Another arc. So now we just need to, like, initiate a prize trade here where possible. I'm going to roll the Pokestop because we have Night Stretcher. If we mill arc, we can get it with Pokestop. Okay, that works. Poffin for some Dusks. Iono. So we need to find V-Star here. We can knock out this first moon, which kind of just initiates the prize trade. So nice. Let's go. Okay. Only one V-Star, though. Jeez. I didn't realize I priced that many V-Stars. What the hell? All right. Well, that's fun. Uh, Starbirth. I'm just going to get Dusclops. How many energy in the deck? Could get Jamming Towers. Nah, there's no point. I'm trying to think what I want to grab here. I don't know Dusclops seems decent. Uh, we could kill the other Moon on the bench, actually, which would be good, too, honestly. We can go counter catch or dust clops. I'm down, sure. Yeah, we don't we don't need a candy just yet. There's no reason to go dust more there. We'll just kill the bench moon, obviously. Take out all their energy off the board. They are down two Sada and three Dark Patch. Or two Dark Patch, so. We got lucky they whipped. I think they pokey stopped the way their patch, and then they didn't have the other patch in the deck. I think that's what happened here, which is honestly pretty poggers. 
We load up the arc. We need to get arc off the prizes. We've, somehow we prize three of our v, our two V stars. So we need the V star off the prize cards here, which is the goal. Let's see. Let's see what we got. One in five. I'm feeling lucky. Right, there we go. Got an arc V star. Got a poffin. Not great, but got the V star at least. So. And we initiated the two prize trade, and this hopefully is enough to keep us in the game. That is the end goal. My opponent does have some counterplay, like they could go baby moon this turn, knock out Duskull if they don't want to frenzy gouge me, but it looks like they're not going for it as they're spreading the energy out. Okay. They also need to move Greninja now too. There's a dark patch. Okay, they had that. All right. Do they have the other patch? Let's see. Because like, our win gone at this point, take another knockout, and then bear something for game. Pretty straightforward stuff. In fact, we can just bear right now. We have DT already in hand if we can actually find bear. So we have options. We have options. We can, like, Dustclop slash Dustnor or Roaring Moon if it frenzy gouges me. We have a lot of counterplay here is basically what I'm trying to say. How many Ultra Balls have we played? One. So, like, yeah, this is looking good. Okay, they found another. They found their fourth Dark Patch. That's pretty good. Damn, okay, wow. Not good. Now they can just retreat Greninja without Petra, which I know they definitely prize because they have not slammed it down yet. So that sucks that they just found all four Dark Patch in two turns, but whatever. They have to... Well, let's see if they Frenzy Gouge or not. Ooh, Fez and a four saw that gets discarded. That's pretty good. All right, all right. This is looking a bit better by the minute. All right, I'm liking this. And if they have the Frenzy Gouge, I mean, literally, we could just win this turn. It's very possible to win this turn if they Frenzy Gouge me here. They could Pokemon Catcher my Fez... They do that. Um, we boss kill Squawk, I think. Is that the play? Yeah, I think so. Yep, there it is. Pokemon Catcher. They're going after Fez. They flip Tails. They probably have another one in their hand. There's four in the deck. They've played two. Yep, there it is. Oh, God. Here we go. Flip Tails. No, my Fez. Oh, they could kill Arc V, actually. No, they definitely count Fez. No, they kill. Okay. All right, sure. I'm surprised they're not killing Fez Dippity, but I will happily take that. All right, this is fine. The fact they didn't kill my Fez there is honestly kind of insane. All right, so let's see what we can cook. Nest Ball's good. Okay. We just pop in the other deck. Prime Catcher. All right, we got most of the stuff in there. Be nice to Iono this turn. So I'm just going to Nest Ball for Blood Moon. And Fez. Nice. Ooh, I own a Prime Catcher. Don't mind if I do. I kind of don't want to put DT on Moon because I kind of need the DT. Um, because Moon's got two thirty HP. I can't one shot. Hmm. And we have game in hand, basically though. It's probably okay to attach DT to Moon, right? We have game in hand because the Squawks in play. So we. Oh, no, but we need a boss kill squawk this turn. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to attach to this. I'm just going to put the DT here. We could prime catcher Iono, actually, then. Hmm. No, I need to save it. Okay, I think we just... Hit, I, so I hit the active. Yeah, I have to KO squawk. <clears throat> we have to Kale Squawk and then Bear for game. This is my only option. Yeah, Kale Squawk, Bear for game. It is what it is. All right. Um, we want to leave the energy in the deck, obviously. I mean, we have a lot of outs, even though we're going to get Iono to two, but we have Fez. What's our two prizes? Anything good? There's an energy. All right, we got game. Game in hand. Cook at Judge. They haven't played Judge yet. And the Moon's in play, so... If they frenzy gouge me, we also, like, we have game potential with Fez. I think we're, I mean, we'll see. It's all down to whether or not we find energy for bear, basically. We have game in hand. Now, my opponent could play Ancient Booster Capsule, but we have Prime Catcher. So, yeah, we'll see. Like, if they go Ancient Booster Capsule, Judge, that's bad. I think they definitely have the Judge here. Yeah, we can't Dust Snore anymore. Yeah, because really against Moon, you only really get to Dust Snore once, right? So... There's Pokey Stop. Okay. Night Stretcher does guarantee him Fez. Hmm. You'll see what they do. They have to judge and then pray I don't have it. I think that they also have like a, a thing in the deck. What do you call it? Ancient Booster Capsule. 
I think we're fine, though. We have game in hand, so... They can't frenzy gouge my bear, because then I win. Yeah, they have to hand strap me here, or else I just win the game. Like, Judge plus KO Fez on a catcher head would be kind of annoying, but they only have one catcher left, so... Unlikely. They also could have pushed Moon in the active and hope I had Prime, but little did they know I had Prime. All right, here we go. What do they got? Is it there? There's the Pokemon Catcher. Let's see what they go after if they flip. Of course they flip heads. All right, well, that's annoying. Um, They're going to kill my Fez probably. That's pretty bad. We still have Night Stretcher, though, to get Fez back if we draw. Well, we don't have Night Stretcher. We win anyways. We have Bear for game. No, we have Bear for game anyways because they're going to take two prizes. Okay, I think no matter what, this is checkmate, right? Okay, we, we just Bear anyways. And they have the Judge. Yeah, Judge Catcher Head is optimal. They got Ancient Booster Capsule. We're forced to find Jamming Tower. We did get Research and Energy. We have guaranteed game. Let's see if they have an Ancient Booster Capsule. That's like the only thing that can stop them from losing. I don't think they play an Ancient Booster. I feel like we would have seen one by now. That should be GG's because we go just win with Bear. Yeah, we had game with Bear no matter what. Because they, if they take the two prizes, Bear wins us the game. So it didn't matter. I kind of forgot Bear can just attack for no energy. That's just kind of broken, to be honest with you. I forgot Bear can go for no energy. But that is game. Yeah, Moon is, uh, Moon's close. Uh, you know, we got lucky they whipped the knockout turn one. Obviously, they flipped three catcher heads that game, too, which is just disgusting. But we got there. You can see why Arc V-Star got a big buff with Dustnor, because being able to, uh, being able to use Dustnor and Dusclops to let Arceus take a turn one knockout with Trinity Nova is pretty disgusting. That's what makes Arc so broken now. And, uh, yeah, this matchup's still kind of close. Like, I still think this is maybe unfavored for us in a way, but... We can always take advantage of them frenzy gouging me with Dusclaw and Dusclops. So they have to be very careful with how they navigate this matchup, basically. Thanks to Dusnor and Dusclops countering frenzy gouging pretty hard. All right, we hit Charizard here. We'll see how this game goes. Pretty good turn one, though, which is nice. We got Arc Energy attached. Let's go. The ideal turn one. I think we'll grab another Duskull. We have all our Arcs in there. Boss, Countercatcher, Jamming Tower. All right, well, most of the stuff is in the deck. All right. Pretty good turn one. We have Prime Catcher here. We have Candy. Literally, if I draw an Arceus V-Star, we can go V-Star for Dustnor plus Prime Catcher. That'd be pretty mint. I don't know what the play is, to be honest. Uh, Charizard is a lot more difficult to beat uh, without a Grass Pokemon and without Giratina. And when they have Thornton, which is kind of scary, but we can we can, we can can try. We don't play Charon's Care. Ooh, they Iono me here. There goes our hand. That's okay. Could be worse. Let's we'll see what our hand is going to be. Okay, we got V-Star. I got Pidgey. I need to kill that thing. They got Duskull. I need to kill that too, bro. It's too many things to kill. What is this? Okay, what's our top deck? Another Iono. It's not great. I think I just ditched the hand, to be honest. I'm down just to research here. Just draw as many cards as I can. Could go switch DT. And then I could... I don't want to... rather candy this, right? I'm just going to research. I don't know. I kind of want to use the boss, but okay, this works. We got DT. Just saves me an extra slot. Didn't find any candy or dust more pieces, though, which is not great. Hmm. So we got Dusclops here. I think maybe the play is to go Prime. I, I can't win Radzard. It's not bad. I kind of just want to kill the Pidgey, though, to be honest with you. I think I just go after Pidgey. Let's go Prime Catcher, Dusclops. Let's work towards a Dusknoor. I think that's okay. Well, let's kill the Pidgey. And they can't get Pidgey out. That's fair. I just gotta be a little mindful of how many prizes I give up, too. Because obviously, Charizard gets to the point where they can one shot me, which is pretty bad. So, I think we wanna save Dustnor if possible, too. Um, if, yeah, we wanna save it. Because 200 damage plus 130 is, of course, 330 damage. So, there's Dustnor. Speak of the devil. Yeah, we need to save it for the Zard. Now, let's see what they got here. They could have unfair stamp this turn, which could be pretty bad. Or Candy Charizard unfair stamp would be grief. If Super Rod and Arvin discards, interesting. There's Charizard. All right, what is in their hand to get rid of Arvin? Do they really have an unfair stamp or an Iono? Is there, there's one singular card, and they got rid of an Arvin. That means they obviously have something in their hand that's a little bit devious. Oh, God. What could be in my opponent's hand? Let's see. I want to try to stay on odd... Or even prizes if I can. If I take another knockout, they can one-shot me. Okay, they have Arvin. Two Arvins in the hand. Their hand was double Arvin Candy Zard. Nice. Still no Drongen in play. They're definitely getting unfair stamp here. We're about to get stamped into Oblivion, which is kind of scary. Because I am down three of my supporters. 
Defiance Band on Radzard, sure. All right, there's the Unfair Stamp. Very unfair card indeed. And we got Dustmore at least. I mean, I can kill the Charizard this turn, though I don't think that's a good idea, especially because they just sack two. What? They just sack double Charizard. All right, why not? They fail the Charizard, though, which is a good sign. DTE. Mm. It's all right, I guess. We could knock out this Charizard now. Is that worth it? I don't want to lose this. If I just give up Arc here, two shot them, but then this guy dies. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe uh, KOing them might have been the better play, actually. Maybe it was better to just take the knockout. I'm like thinking about it more. Maybe KOing the Charizard here with our Arceus was actually the play. I'm not too sure, though. I mean, they don't have a draw engine, right? Unless they're just giga sacking, which they seem to be doing. We'll see, though. It's a Nest Ball. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know. Retreating the other arc was probably the better play, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll see. They're down three supporters. Like, can they realistically get a Pidgeot out? I don't know. Yeah, I probably should have retreated, but I don't know what's in their hand. But retreating might have been the better play. Because then I can char... Yeah, maybe I should have retreated. Because then this guy's going to get one shot. Yeah, I don't know. Might have been better to retreat. Gen energy. All right, we'll bench bear. Should be safe to attach that. Oh, let's kill the active. I mean, they don't have the Defiance Band on the Charizard, so it should be fine. Maybe could have thinned that out, to be honest with you. Probably could have. Let's see what our two prizes are here. Gardevoir and Psychic. Do not need uh, either of those two cards at the moment. Not good. Hmm. We'll see if they can KO me this turn. They need Dusclops to knock me out. So, if they don't knock me out, we can just KO the Charizard this turn, and then we just need one prize to win. So, we should be okay. Unless they can somehow KO me. They have to have a Kieran in hand. Like, just raw. Or have Luminion, of course. That's even if they play Kieran, which I don't think they do. Okay, they don't have it. Nice. Now, they can still Dust Call me. Which is a little scary. Another energy. It's not good. So, we definitely KO them here. Do we, though? Do we really KO them? I could knock out Pidgey... And then just hit this for 200 and then Ursa Luna knock it out. No, I th think. No, I think we, no, we definitely KO. 100% we KO them. Yeah. I think KOing them here is correct. Should be fine. Do I ever bench Raiding Gardevoir? There's a good chance we could get iono but we'll see. We'll see. I really wish I had Fez in play or something, not going to lie. Because we just need Boss to win this now, right? Yeah, I'm just going to knock him out. I'm not going to bench Gardevoir. Let's we'll knock him out. Kind of insane how Dustmore fixes the math perfectly for Arceus, but it's kind of cool. Anyways, we'll see what our two prizes are here. They need an energy to kill me with Radzard. Then they would just bear for game. Okay, Jet, Nest Ball. That does get me Pheasantipity. Depending on how this goes, that might be what I need to win the game. All right, do they have Candy Pidgeot in hand? I did give them a prize. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised if they piece together something. They could thorn another Charizard into play. That'd be kind of scary. We'll see. We just need a boss to win the game. Unless they... Hmm. If they can... If they can Dusclops here. But we... Okay, they scoop it up. All right, never mind. We're safe. I don't know. They didn't have any Jonjin in play. I don't know. They might have just been cooked regardless, right? It was... They needed a lot, really, to kill me. They also didn't seem to have any energy left in the deck, judging from them not putting energy on that Radzard earlier on in the game. I mean, that did get close, though. But as you saw, being able to dust Nora Charizard is ridiculous. We hit Moon once again. All right, well, going first, we have some playable cards here. Grab these two and get an Arcan Pass. Wish I had a better turn one. I wish I had more Dust Skulls, to be honest with you. We're not going to be able to kill the Moon turn one if Dust Skull dies, which is kind of a problem. We'll just do this. I mean, it's all down to whether or not my opponent just turn one knocks me out. We got to hope for the best. Our hand's not fantastic either. We don't have a V-Star. We have Iono, but that's about it. We'll see what they have here. We'll see. We'll see. They need to basically go for a Prime Catcher or Pokemon Catcher to win this. I don't think they play Bundle. So, it's down to whether or not my Pokemon gets lucky. They could get Baby Moon, I guess. But, we'll see. We just need to initiate the two-prize trade. That's all we have to do. We just need to initiate the two-prize trade here, and that's our shot of winning the game. Right, so that's basically what we want to do. Initiate the two-prize card trade, and we probably can win this game. So that's all we want to do. It's not looking good, though, with uh, our current setup. But if Ark doesn't get just randomly cheesed by a Moon KO, we might be okay. 
They have Ultra Ball. That can get them something. Two energy, yikes. Okay. Yeah, it's basically down to whether they find Prime or Pokemon Catcher Heads, basically. It's, it might just come down to a coin flip. Fun times, I know. This might just come down to a single coin flip. There's Squawk. Here we go. Let's see. What else do they have here? What else do they got going on? The two energy in the discard is fine. It's not good for me. Let's see. Let's see. They didn't find Pokestop too, I guess. They don't want to frenzy gouge me. Um, I guess if they have to, it's not that big of a deal. Even there's like a Dust Clops, but it's not going to do much. So let's see what they got. Four cards. What else is in their hand? Is there any other playable cards? Or are they forced to squawk and seize away four cards? Let's see. The Moonbeam and the active is good. They can't Dark Patch to it. And it looks like that's a squawk and seize. And you have their... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Hold up. Two Dark Patch and a Sada discard. Yo, let's go. Honestly, I think they probably could have Sada there, right? They could have got Petch or something. I don't know. That works. I mean, they could still knock me out, but it's looking less likely now because they just got rid of two Dark Patch and a Sada. So that's good. The two Dark Patch especially is good. Especially if they prize a Dark Patch. It's possible they prize one. They only have three in the deck. So they have one in the deck now. Let's see. I'm feeling a bit safer now because of those whiffs. Now we need to just not whiff Arc V-Star off of Iono, basically. Assuming they don't get the knockout. They found Dark Patch. Yikes. That's not good. No, they got Pokegear. Is that going to get them a Sada? Is there a Sada? There is no Sada. Nice. What else do they have here, though? Hmm. Let's see. Three Dark Patch are gone. Do they have Sada? Judge. Okay. Uh, it's fine, I guess. I mean, we had Switch plus Iono, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. You know what? This hand works. I'm, I'm okay with it. I need a supporter, though. We'll see what our top deck is. Bear? Hmm. This is an interesting dilemma. So I do want to take a knockout. I could go... I think what I want to do. We can go research plus dust clops. Then I just need an energy to win. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the play. Research clops. I just need to find energy and I win the game. Or not win, but I knock him out. I don't know why I said win. Uh, we got the bench bear now. All right. Wow, I whiffed. What? I whiffed the energy. Ain't no way. Okay, that's uh, not too good. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> kind of wish I grabbed energy. I would have had the ultra ball for Dusclops. All right, well, they have four cards. I mean, I'll just pass. I That sucks. I, energy whiff is real. Yeah, it's not good. I mean, if I had a DT, I wouldn't have been able to kill them. But yeah, just whiff energy in general is just, like, really, really bad. Maybe I should have got Dusknor then instead of Dusclops. Because technically, if I hit a DT there, I would have been able to kill the Active Moon. So a bit of a, bit of a misplan on my end. But unfortunately, we whiffed. And there's Pokemon Catcher. That flips heads. That is not good. It does not flip heads. And they have four cards. Okay, as long as they just don't have anything, we're fine. They're down a Sada. They have energy in the discard. And let's see. They need Petron too, actually. They need a they still need moving pieces here to knock me out. They have boss. Oh no, not my bear. No. That's stuck in the active now. Jet's gone. Okay, we have to find Prime Catcher. We could find Prime Catcher. There's Fez. Okay, cool. I like Fez. Hmm. Honestly, I'm kind of down to just chill. Because, like, they're giving me information that they don't obviously have anything. I don't know. I still I still need to find, like, a switch, right? I have one switch, one prime catcher, and a jet. If I Iono, they're most certainly just going to pop off. That's the problem. I don't want to give them more cards. Because if I whiff, I get punished really bad. Though if I don't whiff, I kind of just win the game, right? So that's like... We might just have to go for it, to be honest with you. But if I whip the switch, we're probably going to lose the game. I guess not, though. Because, like, at the end of the day, if they have the Frenzy Gouge, it's fine. Okay, then maybe it's okay to do this. Yeah. Because as long as we keep everything in play that dies to Frenzy Gouge, it's not bad. Like, I just don't bench Fez. So I can't knock it out. There it is, the whiff. Yep, this is why I didn't want to do it. 
I knew we were gonna whiff. Oh boy. Pass. I just gave him six new cards. This is really bad. I should have attached the other arc, actually. That was a misplay. That's why I didn't want Iono them. But it looks like we weren't really finding Prime Catcher anytime soon, anyways. That random Pokemon Catcher is actually gonna pay off. That's crazy. I should have attached the other arc. I don't know why I put the energy on the, on the other. I should have spread the energy out. I have no idea why I put the energy on the other arc. Because now I might just lose because of it. Because they can just go knock out arc with Frenzy Gouge. Even if I dust snore, it's not going to make a difference. Now I think we actually might lose the game. That was a uh, pretty bad whiff. There's Poke Stop. That might get me the Prime Catcher next turn if they still don't knock me out. They still can find Prime Catcher of their own, though. Or a Pokemon Catcher. So I'm not liking my odds too much. Yeah, that was a bad whiff. That... Catcher on the Blood Moon is actually going to pay off. And, ooh, okay, hold up. Pokestop and away. Sauna and Judge again is pretty fantastic. Nice. I'll take it. That feels pretty good. Now, the question is, will they still find the Gust? They still need a Petron. Okay, well, they found that. Okay, sure. But they did just discard supporters. So there's less of a chance they're going to hit me here with the with the knockout then. Right? Hopefully, maybe. If they Frenzy Gouge Bear, we just go Dust Snore KO Moon. Right? And then maybe Arceus KO with like a boss. We can take four prizes actually, which is kind of the plan. Do they have Gust? They're down a boss. They're down boss. They didn't Prime Catcher, obviously. Do they have Pokemon Catcher? Yo, don't tell me it's going to go out of another coin flip, bro. Ain't no way. Them killing Blood Moon is still good for them, though, because obviously Blood Moon is how we kind of wrap things up usually at the end of the game. But let's see. Do they have it? I'm down one boss and stuff. So let's see if they got it. They could just Calamity Storm me too to play it safe, which isn't terrible either if they want to go down that route yeah they could just calamity storm here let's see what they do calamity storm's okay they could technically go calamity storm baby moon if they really want to play it safe let's see what they're doing yeah okay they're not killing me okay window's still open to get there they're gonna get rid of the pokey stop annoyingly though i still have to find a switch this game is wild all right what's our top deck I mean, sure, not great, but we'll grab that, I guess. Why not? All right, well, let's Ultra Ball. Spin a little bit more. And pray we don't whiff switch here off of the Iono. Six new cards. We need a switch. Is there a reason a Dusnor there? No, definitely not. Oh, my God. I still whiffed. No, come on, man. This game is wild. I don't even know what the heck's going on. This is ridiculous. Where are they at? I, I own know twice, and you still don't give me one. This is so bad now. Because now my opponent can knock out Blood Moon. And I can't kill this thing with Arceus. This is not good. Yeah, this is uh, about as bad as it can get. I guess we could still counter catcher kill Squawk. Might be the play. I own know counter catcher kill Squawk, maybe, and see where it takes us. They could kill Fez this turn with Clammy Storm. I don't know if they really want to leave Blood Moon alive, though. Yeah, maybe... It's not... That bad, I guess. Like, yeah, we'll still counter catch or kill Squawk. Honestly, there's still a world where if we can get double Dustnor in play, we could just go KO Squawk and then Dustnor, Dustnor, KO that for game. So maybe maybe we're still fine. Maybe we're still in the game. But there's still a win con, right? If we can get another Dustnor set up, theoretically, we could still double Dustnor and take four prizes in one turn. That might be my only out at this point, in all honesty. So let's see. Yeah, they just go Baby Moon, though, which is bad. We have the counter catcher, though, so we do punish the play a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. They're out of supporters almost. They have one Sada left. But they, who cares at this point? They got the three moons powered up, right? Yeah, this is fine. They still can't really do Frenzy Gouging at any point. Because as long as I'm threatening Dustnor, it's like still scary for them, right? It should be okay. Let's see what they do. This is our last Iono, by the way. Like, if I play this Iono... I mean, I kind of have to, right? I need to work towards getting Prime Catcher or Boss. And second Dustnor. I think I have to play the Iono. They're going to stay in the active. I guess I don't want to go Moon because I can Dust Snore it, which is fair enough. I don't think it really matters. Hmm. Let's see what our top deck is. Oh, holy moly. The double candy, bro. Chill. Okay. Um. This gives me way more counterplay. Okay. Huh. Hmm. This is kind of annoying, though. If only I could knock out the active moon. So we could double Dustnor, but I can't one-shot this. If I could one-shot this moon, bro, we would be big chilling here. 
Hmm. That sucks, bro. We actually almost could have just took out all the moons and I own them. That really sinks. That sucks. Jamming tower, don't need that. It's really unfortunate. All right, Fez. There's a prime catcher. So we have to KO Squawkabilly. We need to find Night Stretcher. I want to get Bear back. So we KO Squawkabilly. They KO me with Frenzy Gouging. They could just kill Fez, though, too. Yeah, this sucks. I think we just got to go for it. Honestly, we got really unlucky this game. I just literally couldn't find a way to move the entire game. There's really nothing I can do about that. It's just the luck really wasn't on our side, to be honest with you. So we'll just KO the Squawk. We'll have to formulate a plan for next turn. What do we got? Okay, pretty good prizes. Still have their prime catcher. They, they might just KO Fez this turn, and then I probably just lose. I don't know. This is, like, really bad. Um, if they have to Frenzy Gouge me this turn, we were a lot better. So maybe just putting Fez down was a mistake, to be honest with you. They're probably going to KO Fez. They probably have enough. They've played one Pokestop and one Gust, so. Or one catcher, anyways. So they probably just have it. Fez is dead, and I think we just lose. So maybe if I didn't have Fez in play, we would have been in a better spot to win this. I think we might have been able to just win the game if we didn't have Fez and Dippy in play, in all honesty. Their Fez is still in the deck, too. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, this is not looking good. This matchup was kind of chalked the moment we... Uh, if we had the ability to knock out Moon EX, we literally could have taken four prizes in one turn. With double Dustnor plus Arc, knock out the active Moon that was poisoned, we could have definitely won the game. But now it's, like, looking less likely. Because they could just Calamity Storm this, and then I lose. Like, they're definitely going to find the Gust. There's no way they're whiffing Gust here. They also Palpated... Um... No, they didn't put boss back. Well, they didn't grab a Fez. They got Moon. Fez must be prized. Hold up. Hold up. I mean, if they do not... Okay. We probably win. They actually we do win if they have the Fez. If they don't kill Fez this turn, we win the game. Because they go Frenzy Gouge, my Arc. We win. Oh, here we go. It's all down to this coin flip. Tails. All right. There's still Prime Catcher in the deck. But to be fair, they didn't grab Fez. So I don't know if they're going to find it. No! Oh my god, that's about as good as you can get, though. The freaking double catcher and a gear to basically guarantee stuff next turn. Oh my god. Okay, they got two more shots. We need double tails again in order to survive. Okay, hold up, hold up. The plot thickens. They got one catcher, though. That was an insanely good pokey stop. Uh, yikes. The pokey gearing. See, if they put boss back, they probably would have just guaranteed game. They should have palp had a double boss. I don't know why they put Sada back. They still Prime Catcher, though, like I said. Like, this probably drops some Prime Catcher if they really have to find it. If we didn't have Fez, we would have been chilling. All right, here we go. If this gets Tails, there's a chance. Oh, my God. No shot. They still have the Prime Catcher, though. This is the issue. They have the Sada. Is Prime Catcher already in their hand? Is it Prime Catcher Sada? Bro, this game is crazy. What on earth is going on right now? This is wild. They're going baby moon? Okay, I think they're prime catcher's prize. You definitely don't do this, right? Unless the prime catcher's in hand. Does it matter? Do they have prime catcher? Going moon here doesn't make any sense. Not sure. What's bro cooking? We have game in hand. If they don't... If they have the frenzy gouge, we win. They cannot do frenzy gouging or else they literally win the game. But I, that's why I don't know why they went to this guy. Because I just knocked it out with this guy. 200 damage. Now it's Prime Catcher's in hand. No, they... Okay, we win. That's game. They didn't have the Prime Catcher, I guess. Holy... We got actually so lucky they flipped Triple Tails. In any other world, obviously, we would have lost the game. If Fez wasn't in play, it would have been fine. Yeah, okay, whatever. All right, well, it's it's game. This game was a wild roller coaster. But yeah, we have game. We just go... We just boss for game. Okay. I mean, that works, I guess. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, we got lucky. They flipped triple tails. I mean, that's basically the moon matchup in a nutshell, though, right? Just, like, can your opponent not flip a billion heads in a row on catcher? But we got lucky. I think they prized prime catcher and Fez and Dippity. Or maybe they just didn't need the Fez. I mean, no, they would have definitely grabbed Fez because the Pokestop wasn't guaranteed two catchers. And this was a wild game, bro. We got a lot unlucky. We whiffed switch for, like, two turns in a row off of two Ionos. Things were not going great there, but we still overcame the match. We didn't even use Dustnor, but the Dustnor threat was there. Basically, having the Dustnor in play meant that you can never frenzy gouge my Arceus or else you get immediately punished. There you have it, folks. That is the Arceus Dusknor deck in action. As you can see, Dusknor does add a lot of extra value to a deck like Arceus. And also just being able to use Starbirth to get Dusknor pieces to get it out really easily. And on top of the fact you saw Dusknor being really good against 
Charizard, where that extra 13 damage alongside 200 damage Trinity Nova was enough to one it KO a Charizard. Being able to one it KO a Charizard with Dusknoir and Arceus is kind of insane, and that's one of the strengths of the deck. And of course, being able to use Dusclops or Dusknoir to knock out an EX Pokemon early on with Trinity Nova is also pretty nasty. Definitely a pretty powerful deck in my opinion not a bad way to play Arceus Arceus is still mid I mean at the end of the day though the issue this deck will ultimately face and I mean you saw it in this video we played against two moon decks we have the issue where going up first ended up being a little bit of a detriment to us playing against a deck like moon where they're aggressively spamming catchers and stuff because this is a meta where going first is less effective than going second so maybe you can put like a Cleffa in here or something I guess I don't know there, there could be more cards you can add Arceus just going first sometimes feels really really bad but it is what it is. It's really the only way you can play Arceus. It's really hard to build Arceus going second. So just kind of, you just have to accept the fate. But if you can stabilize and set up, usually the deck can flow pretty well. And you saw the strength of Dustnor and Dusclops in today's video to fix math on knockouts. It's pretty good. KO and EXs early on with Arceus is insane value. But hope you enjoyed the video on the deck. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Hell me, we're reaching 65 thousand subs check out my second channel down below if you want to get some extra content from me and make sure to go check out the shovel squad down below the team i am sponsored by they also got content over there too and uh, check out card cap and you get any codes use call DF. that'll be for me hope you enjoyed and i'll catch y'all later Bye bye